What's up, what's up everybody? Chris Record here from the SLS Hotel in Beverly Hills, getting ready to jump on a plane. But before we do, I wanna start off by saying happy Mother's Day to all the moms. Happy Mother's Day to everybody watching. And for those of you that are gonna join us live, thanks for taking the time on a Sunday. If not, I'm gonna assume you're probably watching the recording. And as you can see, I got Leon Kalaski with me so, here. We just went and had lunch at the, uh, what, the bazaar? I think it's called the bazaar? Uh, Trace. Oh, the Trace. Trace. The bazaar's inside. Trace. We just went to like a little Mother's Day brunch. It was Peter, myself, and Lee. Now we're hanging out, um, waiting to basically catch a ride to the airport. Now, the reason I want to bring out Lee is because Lee is a consultant that has helped with a ton of sites, including being able to help uh, consult with Shopify sellers how to be able to go from something like 20 sales a day to 200 sales a day. What do you do to scale? What is the strategy and everything? So I asked Lee if he'd be willing to come out and share with us on Mother's Day as a special. He said sure. And then on the other side of the camera, we got Peter Sorensen. Peter, why don't you turn around? What's up, everybody, real quick? What's going on, guys? Peter here, coming at you from beautiful <laughs> LA, Beverly Hills, the SLS. Having an awesome day. You guys, we're hanging out. Chris Recker, my good friend Leon Kalaski, absolute crushing it with funnels, helping people grow their businesses, and we're having a good time. We just had an awesome Sunday brunch. We're missing our moms. I want to say happy Mother's Day to my mom, an amazing mom, one of my best friends, Jeanette. Uh, happy Mother's Day, mom, if you're watching, you know? And uh, for all the mothers out there, we appreciate you, we love you. And those of you that are watching live, thanks for taking time out of your day or evening, depending upon where you're at in the world, to join us to learn some strategies on literally how to go. Take your business to the next level. What, what are some things that you can do to be able to go from literally, you know, just getting a few sales a day to getting 20 sales a day and then literally scaling up to 200 sales a day. You're gonna learn from Leon kind of his story, what he's been able to do to help, you know, his clients grow and scale their Shopify stores. So pay close attention if you're watching this on, on Replay, you know, take notes. Uh, Lee is someone that's absolutely crushing it. It's been a friend of ours, he used to work in our, our company a couple years ago, uh, is actually just really, really grown his business. And that uh, was nice enough to uh, scoop us up out here in LA Hollywood, take us down to Beverly Hills, just had an awesome Sunday brunch for the day, and uh, really, really killer. So that being said, guys, I'm gonna, uh, Kick it back over so here. Turn over to Lee. Lee, why don't you uh, jump on and, and share your story? Awesome. Tell everybody, introduce yourself, and tell them who you are. And what you're <laughs> awesome. Hello, guys. I'm Leon Kalaski. I've been online for close to 14 years now. Uh, got my start really early on. I had purchased a company, actually, that helped people find products to sell on eBay. Uh, long before Shopify, most people that were selling e-com would do stuff on eBay and so I had a service that would find products that you could buy for wholesale and and then flip them out on eBay. One of the companies that I started promoting for uh, actually became a one of the biggest companies in the world which is Alibaba uh, and that was quite some time ago probably 10-15 years ago 10 years ago and uh, recently I've been working as a funnel consultant helping people scale their business using Facebook ads, uh, using funnels, using Shopify. Uh, probably about two, three years ago, three years ago, I was working with uh, Mr. Record here, uh, helping him uh, in his business and helping him grow that. So really quick, the uh, tip that I wanna share today is just how to go from 20 sales per day uh, up to 200 per day. Uh, the reason that we try and do this is uh, I found that 20 sales per day, if you can get one single product and focus on that, uh, you can very well bring it all the way up to 200 per day. So in order to uh, get to 20 sales per day, it really comes down to focus. I think a lot of times people, when they first start online, they're trying to promote way too many products at the same time in their store. And what I want to do is just find one product that could be the key product. Uh, typically. 10% uh, of your products that you have in your store will make up 90% of your sales. So I want to find that one lead product that is going to lead people and be congruent with the other products in the store. Uh, recently I was working with a client of mine, Primal Life Organics, and we were trying to find one product that would be a good introduction to their brand that would have people buy the other products in the store. Uh, in their case, it was the tooth powder that they sell. It's a really interesting, unique product. And really my goal starting out was just to figure out how to get to 20 sales per day. I knew if I could get to 20, that within 30 days I could get them to 200 per day. 
And so this is what I did in the very beginning. I just focused on trying to find the right ads and the right interest to get me to there. I want to find interest that will build me an audience up to half a million people. And in the very beginning, I'll just go ahead and create a single ad set inside of Facebook. In each single ad set, will target a interest. Uh, that interest will have anywhere between 100,000 to half a million people in it. And once I find the interest that works and gets me to 20 uh, sales per day, then what I do is let that run for a period of seven days. Don't touch it, I don't scale it, I just let it, let Facebook do its thing. And then after that, what I'll do is once I have my 100 to 200 sales accumulated on that product, I'll go ahead and build a lookalike audience off of the pixel from Facebook. And then simultaneously, while I have that single ad set going, um, I'll start scaling that at about 20% per day. So if my budget's $50 per day, I'll go ahead and add uh, 20% to it, say $10 per day. I usually do this in the evenings and I'll scale out that existing ad set. And after the seven day period, I'll go ahead and start running to that lookalike audience. Facebook knows so much more about your customers than we ever will. Uh, they do so much on the psychographic and demographic behavior that we won't really understand it. So I let them do all the heavy lifting. So I'll run to that lookalike audience. And typically what I'll do is I'll split out devices and I'll split out uh, a few different age groups that are working. And whatever my initial budget is, which is typically three times what I'm willing to spend per customer, uh, I'll have for each of those ad sets. So for instance, on if mobile's performing well, I'll split up males and females in two different groups, and then I'll split up uh, by age demographic and try and get to that 100,000 uh, plus person audience in each one. And then I'll just let those run. Uh, typically I'll have anywhere between five and 10 ad sets running. And then I'll just scale maybe 10% per day in each of those ad sets. And over time, uh, Facebook is going to make use of the pixel knowledge that it gains and help you grow your business. So that's pretty much it. What's up, what's up? Hey, you guys, you guys got any questions for Lee? Lee's talking about uh, some serious strategies on being able to grow your Shopify store. We are in the grow phase here in the group. So if you guys have any questions, jump on in. And, uh, and ask Lee, we'll do our best to try to read him. It's kind of bright out here. Very bright. But ask Lee if you have any questions on what he's talking about in terms of what, how he focuses on the size of the audience, how he split tests once he finds an ad that's working, how he focuses specifically on a specific product at a time rather than trying to, you know, at first you do kind of shotgun. You have a store full of products. You, don't, you need to have options. You can't just, get, you can't guarantee your first choice is gonna be a winner. But, He's always looking for that winner. He's always looking, what's that one product he can take and he can scale? And then he just gave you some feedback on how to be able to uh, scale it. So Lee, if you see any questions popping up or anything like that, I can't see actually the screen at all. <laughs> Brian, tons of serious scaling nuggets in under 300 seconds. Is that all we've been on for? Uh, feels like longer. They're probably used to me talking, Lee, where I talk <laughs> for like two hours. <laughs> yeah, uh, I definitely uh, am short and to the point, so not, not a lot of fluff there. Plus, I told Lee it's Mother's Day, and uh, so a lot of people wouldn't be on. I don't know how many people on a can see that. But I told Lee, I said, hey, it's Mother's Day, let's keep it short. 60 people already, there we go. There we go. So I told Lee it's Mother's Day, let's keep it short. <laughs> if you guys have any questions for Lee, we're about two blocks away from our destination, so let us know. So I've got, uh, I'm sorry, uh, Chessy, I'm sure I butched up your name, sorry, I apologize for that. Uh, so if you got more views and no buys, would you kill it? So typically what I try and do is go uh, 24 to 48 hours on a uh, one of my ad sets, and if it does not produce any sales, I'll usually kill it and try something else. Uh, go ahead and try and test a new ad copy. And one of the things uh, for me is that uh, I don't test a lot of different images and videos on the front side. For me, if I get one video where I do get a lot of social interaction, um, you know, it's just kind of a gut feeling whether I let it roll a little bit longer. But if I don't have something work after, say, 48 hours, I usually kill it, try something else. Uh, for me, social proof is king. 
So if I get one video that is starting to get me sales, say I'm willing to uh, pay $10 per customer sale and I might be starting out at 20, I know over time with more social proof and just keeping that same ad running, uh, just go ahead and run a, you know, make sure you run a dark post. I'll just keep building on that social proof. I'd rather have a video that's getting 1 million, one single video that's getting 1 million people per week looking at it than 10 videos uh, only getting 100,000. So definitely try and build up your social proof and kill it after 48 hours. Let's see what else we got here. Can you do a lookalike with no sales? No, uh, you cannot. Uh, sometimes if you do, in the very beginning, if you can build a lookalike based off of page views, but page views typically are a different behavior. Somebody that's a clicker is not a buyer, so I, I probably would not recommend it. I would wait until you get at least 100 sales and then build your lookalike from there. You guys, by the way, uh, <laughs> you can charge a lot less for your products in the beginning. Your first 100 sales don't have to be marked up as high as they could be. Your first 100 sales, you can heavily discount a product. You're still getting buyer behavior. Facebook's still gonna buy a look, build a look like audience. So if you have a product that could be selling for like $22 a sale, you might wanna discount it down to 15 or even $10 for sale. Build those first 100 buyers. Now you've got the ability to be able to build a look like audience on that. So don't worry, play the long game. There's a lot of profit once you build the right look alike audience and once you build it up. You don't need to go for the gusto <clears throat> on your first 100 sales. You just need to get sales. <clears throat> And then uh, for Brian, you're saying uh, leading products to scale, do you start with free plus shipping, paid plus shipping? Uh, typically free plus shipping, I'm trying to do something that's uh, uh, definitely under, like in that $25 range, uh, tends to do well on the front end side. And then over time, you're, you know, you're building up your Shopify store so that you can get a customer value anywhere between $150 to $200. So I would definitely, uh, free plus shipping or paid plus shipping works. That's spot on, thank you. Just keep testing. Yeah, I just keep testing until it works, and then after that, I quit my testing, and then just focus on scaling. Mohammed, um, a lot of people, PPE, get a lot of people to the site. Uh, I would just go ahead and retarget your site visitors uh, with another ad and get them to buy one single broad interest or one interest with several interests in it. So I never have uh, multiple interests inside of an ad set uh, for Tiki magazines. Yeah, I would run each separate, find which magazine works best for you, uh, and then over time switch over to the lookalike audience. What's the best target audience to start with uh, entrepreneurs niche in Europe? So I would definitely start out with any magazines uh, successful people um, or companies that entrepreneurs would follow. You guys think, put yourself in the mindset of your car target audience. If you want to target entrepreneurs in Europe, are you an entrepreneur in Europe? If so, what pages do you like? What books do you read? What magazines do you read? What associations are you part of? What leaders do you follow? Go find some leaders. What fan pages do you like? You're an entrepreneur. You should be, you already know what you like. You should be targeting the kind of people that are like you. So find some influencers that are entrepreneurs in Europe and then target their followers and that's what you want to do. Always put yourself in the mindset of the customer and think what do they like, what interests do they have and then target those interests. So just how to know winning product or know how many sales make it on the first four days. So it's really going to depend on the budgets that you're doing. If you're doing three times what you're willing to pay for a customer. If you've uh, been pushing a product for four days and don't have any sales, uh, I would probably kill it unless all of your ads have a relevancy score of say an eight or more. And it looks like people really like the product and just not buying. Uh, it could just be something with the ad and add some scarcity or something to it to get them to buy fastest way to build your pixel fastest way is get more sales and uh, if you're if you have the ability to scale do it in a short period of time how do you know which ad to run you're on a limited when you're on a limited budget uh, run with whatever ad is producing customers at the lowest uh, customer value um, you know and always stay within your budget you always want to have a budget that you could afford for a longer period of time because time is your friend. You don't want to blow it all in the beginning and possibly have no sales, Xavier. What is a dark post? Dark post is uh, when you go ahead and view your ad inside of 
ads manager or power editor, you can go ahead and view post with comments. And then there's gonna be two sets of long numbers. It's the uh, second set of numbers there is your post ID. And that's definitely uh, some, you'll have to figure out how to use power editor. And then you can just enter in that post ID. A, sim a symbol, because you can really only uh, explain that if he's showing you. So a simple way to understand a dark post it's an unpublished post. So on your fan page, if you don't want your fan page to get too crowded with a lot of different posts, but you want to do a bunch, like you want to do 20 different posts, you would have those be unpublished posts. They're not published on your fan page. They're unpublished, AKA they are dark. They're only shown to people in your audience that you're advertising to. So if you have an, audi if you have an audience of single women who live in Oklahoma who are age 35, it's your ad is your post is only going to be seen to single women age 35 who live in Oklahoma and that's the only people are going to see it it's not going to be on your page therefore it is dark it is only seen by that audience you can look it up you can do a google search um, and there's ways to be able to do it in ads manager and power editor and one of the other reasons too why I like running dark posts is it makes it a little bit harder for your competition to reverse engineer what you're doing because uh, they just can't go to your Facebook page and see what ads you're running uh, do you need data to create a lookalike? Yes, usually 100 conversions, whether you're uh, doing yeah, any type of sale, definitely want to get. Okay, you guys, we're gonna, we're gonna wrap up here in a minute. Uh, we've been going for a while. We gotta jump to the, we gotta go to the airport. So let me see, I don't <laughs> wanna be want late. To miss his flight. I don't wanna miss my flight, hold on. Um, what's the quickest way to season your pixel? Traffic. Sales. You gotta, you gotta just get, it all starts with uh, volume. It all starts with volume. Get people to view your content, then get people to add your content to the cart, your products to the cart, then get people to purchase, and then get a lot of customers. The more, the more content, you, or the more uh, quantity you have of everything is the best way to go. Hey, Alicia. Alicia, Alicia says what's up. <laughs> what's up? All right, let's see. You guys, happy Mother's Day to all the moms that are on right now watching. Yeah, go buy your mom flowers. Yeah, okay. Enough of us. You guys, go hang out with your moms, okay? Enough of us. In fact, here, I'm going to turn it over to your favorite friend, Peter Sorensen. <laughs> there we go. There we go, guys. Well, off. hey, we're going to wrap up here. But before we do, I just wanted to share, again, uh, piggybacking some couple of things that Chris and Leon said is, you know, fundamentally, you know, you've got to get the data, right? You've got to do whatever it takes to generate the sales. In the beginning, be willing to, you know, invest in your business. Treat this like a real business. Treat it that, hey, you know, three months from now, six months from now, a year from now, you know, treat this as a six-figure business. And say, okay, what am I willing to put in time, energy, and money up front to treat this like a six-figure business? If you treat it like a business, it can pay you like a business. You've got to be willing to do whatever it takes for as long as it takes. And when it comes to getting the buyer data, when it comes to running your ads, getting traffic, and generating sales, be willing to, you know, have a, you know, don't try to make a ton of money up front. Have a, have a goal to get that those 100, first 100 sales so you can build that lookalike audience so you can you know build out your campaigns to scale up let Facebook go to work for you let Facebook you know get smarter based on that data I'm running those ads so be willing to lose a little bit of money you know but don't treat it like a loss don't think I'm losing money think you are investing you know when I was getting started in my business years ago I invested tens of thousands of dollars that I didn't have in my early 20s I invested in my education I invested in ads I invested in marketing before I ever started making money I struggle right I struggled for a long time but I never thought I'm losing money I never thought okay I'm, I'm gonna quit it's not gonna work I said I'm gonna figure this out I'm gonna invest I'm gonna do whatever it takes for as long as it takes to create success and here's what's interesting. I'm going to kind of end with this, right? We're here at this beautiful SLS hotel in Beverly Hills. I moved uh, down to LA, Marina Del Rey, a decade ago, exactly 10 years ago, almost to the freaking, almost to the, basically to the month. I moved down here 10 years ago. I was 22 years old. I moved out here, uh, you know, basically to, to become successful and to build a business. And uh, I was li living in Fresno, California, moved down here to LA. LA was way more expensive, right? And I was just getting that business going. I was starting to make some sales, right? You know, I was able to, you know, make enough money to pay the bills. And I remember coming to this hotel. I remember coming and I, I remember thinking to myself, one day, you know, I'm going to be able to have the lifestyle, be able to travel the world and, you know, fly on jets and all this cool stuff. And, you know, it's crazy. Like even today, you know, we saw a rapper, Will, Will I Am. Those of you guys that ever followed music, Black Eyed Peas, Will I Am was having lunch, having brunch uh, 
couple tables next to us. Uh, so it's just funny, right? You see, you know, LA, the city of stars and entertainers and musicians, stuff like that. Um, but it has that energy of success. It has the energy of like doing something, moving and shaking. And you know, I remember you know a decade ago, you know, being that young hustling entrepreneur. And you know, for a lot of you guys watching, I'm still young, right? I'm not, you know, I'm only 32. But uh, it's just the attitude of you know, human beings underestimate uh, what they can achieve in a decade, and they overestimate what they can achieve a year. That was me, you know, in my early 20s. And some of you, maybe you know, you're you're, you're super aggressive on you know, I've got to make this work and make a ton of money in 30 days instead of having the long game, say a year from now, you know. Heck, six months from now. Some of you guys are just thinking next week. You got to think a little bit further out. Stretch your vision, stretch your mindset, and be, again, be willing to invest. And like I said before, in some of the other lives, treat this like a ten thousand dollar investment. Like treat the ninety day ecom challenge like you invested ten grand into it. If you treat the ninety day ecom challenge like you invested ten grand into it, I guarantee you, you're gonna take it more serious. I guarantee you, you're gonna have a better odds of actually creating sales, creating success because you have to make it work, right? If you put everything into this and you put yourself in a position where you had to make it work, right, you're going to be able to, you know, have a lot better odds of success. So treat this business like you invested thousands, tens of thousands of dollars like I did when I was first getting started, right? Be willing to invest in yourself, be willing to invest in your ads and your business, right? Have the long game, be willing to just do whatever it takes to generate that first hundred sales, you know, of that buyer data, even if you're, you know, just breaking even a best case scenario, right? Or even if you lose a little bit of money up front, have that long game because again, it's like it's like the stocks, right? You might have nine losses, but you have that one winner that just, you know, scales up to, and you, uh, you know, more than pays for all the losses and has a nice profit. That's the reality, right? That's the reality. You're going to lose on most, but it's the one or two that are the big winners. Like Leon said, that one product that you scale up with that is a success that the market wants and next thing you know, you're crushing it. So, that being said, guys, happy Mother's Day. This is uh, day 44 of the 90 Day Ecom Challenge coming at you from beautiful Beverly Hills, California. We're about to hop on a jet back to Scottsdale, Arizona. Uh, wishing all of you guys well for all of the mothers. Uh, again, happy Mother's Day. You're awesome, and we will see you soon. Till then, take care.